Meow. Yeah, Gloria's a happy pussy cat with a big tail. Hey. Hey, what's happening? Greetings, ladies and germs. Elton McFall here. It was pretty poop right now, even though I've had five coffees. I mean, come on, it gets dark at like friggin' 4.30. I don't even know what the hell time it is anymore. I think it's like 5.30, 6. Anyway, I work for, I don't know, I think it seems like four hours or almost four hours to finish this painting today because it's been lagging behind this painting. I uh, What happened was I got COVID, right, a few weeks ago. And uh, I think it was right around when I started on this thing. And uh, so that really knocked me on my ass. I know like a lot of you, right? With the headache, constant freaking headache all the time and the, uh, the fatigue and the this and that. Oh, this is almost like I was telling people, it's almost like a borderline flu, you know? And it's actually awkward to hold the camera like this. I probably should have got the, the tripod because I'm sitting here on the couch here. And I don't know, I just like the way the, the painting looked here um, on, on the canvas. Oh, crooked though. In the, in the, in the, with the pole lamp there showing her there. So yeah, so I did this painting right for Scotty and they're out in the, in Alberta there are Cold War Motors, uh, who's of course uh, another automotive channel like myself, except different for me from other car channels that I don't work on cars, you know. Uh, however, it did show that video of my friend starting up his willies, the damn thing hadn't ran like 35 years. That was really awesome. The uh, Go Devil Motors is known. So anyway, Scott's a uh, cool, uh, uh, Model T that he got running and driving. He loves it. He drives it all the time. 1926, uh, kind of a, known as a phone booth design because the, the the interior is so tall, like a phone booth. And then the 29 Indian belongs to his brother, uh, uh, his brother, his friend. Sorry. And uh, this is really one of the coolest things I ever seen. I told Scott. I said it would be an honor to do a painting of this. But that's one of the reasons. Oh God, might I really had to change my change? Uh, oh boy, that's terrible. Oh boy, uh, try and get a better look at it. Why is there so much glare on this freaking thing? Holy cow. Jesus, that looks terrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, you hear that music playing there? That's, uh, that's some serious, uh, jazz there. Jazz from the 30s, 40s. I don't, you know why there's so much glare with this painting? That was actually an annoying aspect with this painting was the glare because simply is the fact that, uh, it's so generally, except for the sky, which looks like either morning or evening, it's just dark. And that's actually, I have to say, the darkest painting I've done this series so far. And I don't even remember what painting this is anymore. I think it's number 15 or something. Since I've done the series, uh, which almost all of them were this size, uh, since May. And you know what, believe it or not, the most fun thing for me to do on this painting was that barn. Because I didn't use any guide or anything. There's no picture I used, it's just from memory. You know, I'm gonna stop this a second. Put this I think back where it was because there's too much glare. Okay, that's better. But there's still, yeah, there's still glare. God darn it, that's annoying. Really annoying because I can't seem to just shake that glare. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so you can see that it wasn't just because of the COVID. It took me forever it seemed to make this painting it should have taken me a week a week or a week and a half or so no it took a, as much work as that fire truck i did but i think it was just even much harder for me because again i, I don't see well and uh, the details are so small as you can see here try to do as much details as, as possible i think the engine might have been the the biggest challenge Yeah, so anyway, uh, happy it's done. And uh, if you're uh, looking to uh, make a painting, uh, to have a painting for yourself done by myself here, Elton McFall, and uh, you wanna have a painting like this, this is 16 by 20 inches, whether you're in the States or Canada, it's 30 bucks to ship, that's what I charge. And uh, it would take me something like that, that much detail. Usually it takes me about a, a week, but uh, something like that. Maybe it's more like a week and a half or something. Uh, and uh, it's uh, normally I used to charge 200, but something with that much work, it's 250. Non-negotiable, non as they say. And um, yeah, I'm going to ship this out to Scott tomorrow. That he's going to show it on his channel because, you know, success is often measured by who you know. 
but in this case, as much as uh, you know, advertising as you can do as well, right? So, yeah. So that's the thing. You know, the YouTube revenue uh, is not great uh, as it used to be, but at least, uh, like Scott would say, use it like him as an, as a, a venue to to uh, generate more business for yourself. So in, in my case, doing art for people. So whether you have a, a truck, an old pickup truck, a van, a step van, a tank, a, a meteor, a monarch, whatever, whatever it may be, man, I can do it for you. A plane, 747, DC-8, L-1011, whatever, man, uh, anything goes, you know, and uh, that's it. So I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I don't know if I'm doing a cougar for my buddy or if I'm going to be doing a, a fire station for a friend of mine. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, definitely things uh, things uh, not happening, but that, that should be happening uh, soon, one or the other. And uh, that's about it, guys. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you're interested in having something like this done that's unique for somebody, whether it's a vehicle you have, you know, an Impala, a Pontiac, a Subaru, whatever, uh, please be older vintage please retro and uh, you know then I'm your guy you know especially since it's affordable and um, yeah again you have to excuse me I'm pretty tired I've been working on this for hours and uh, whew, I'm, I'm, you know I, I would have actually filmed this right after it was done but I had a customer that just came over so so thanks again for watching uh, get in touch with me uh, Elton McFall at hotmail.com or you can also find me on Facebook Elton McFall and uh, it'll be a pleasure to uh, give you a quote. And, uh, and yeah, and just to finish, actually, uh, well, I showed Gloria. There she is again, right, my Gloria? Meow. Hmm? See, sometimes I go meow. She, she turns away and meows. No? Well, in this case, I might as well show you. Real quick, some of my artwork here. There's the new look I always show, hoping one day, uh, one of these times in one of these videos, it'll, somebody will actually buy it. The guy, actually, my customer, came here to buy a couple, a few vintage uh, uh, Mopar, muscle Mopar ads. He, he was tripping on this painting. I said, well, I said, take somebody like yourself who appreciates it, and secondly, to have a hundred bucks worth. So, not really negotiable, you know? And speaking of Mopars, Christine, she's still here. She's still here. Yeah, I wanted to sell this to Dean. I was gonna make him a good deal for like four fifty or four hundred bucks, something like that, which is a steal. But I mean, the shipping is just so expensive. You know, it's like two hundred and fifty bucks minimum. Anyway, that's it, guys. So, uh, oh, and I think I sold this one to one of my fans, there, Patrick, uh, who's also a YouTuber. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Take care, guys. And if you're interested in any of these paintings, you're welcome to come on down and have a look. If you're a serious person, please don't waste my time, and I will not waste yours. That is a real hubcap. And uh, yeah, this is uh, something I painted. My God, when did I finish this? Last year or this year? Anyway, you can see it's friggin' huge. It's five feet tall. Look how tall I am. It's six three. Check this out. See? All right, we'll finish with the, uh, the Montreal commuter train there. Take care, guys. All the best, eh? And I'm hoping for a lot of business coming this month here in November because of Christmas coming, so... And uh, what did I want to say really very today? Yeah, oh yeah, and if you want vintage car ads, Coca-Cola ads, any kind of vintage ads, I got them. You want the cheap thrills, I'm the guy to talk to. So thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Jesus, Murphy. Man, I thought I forgot something. Because I was showing that painting on, on the easel here, I forgot to show the picture. My muse I was using that Scott took of his Model T and his friends. Friggin' the friggin Indian Scout. Holy cow, there we go. There, there's a comparison. Of course, as you can see in my painting, I inadvertently uh, put Scott's uh, Model T to the left instead of to the right, and that's why I put that uh, that bar in there. That's just, just happens to be like that. Well, I think it looks better like this than like this anyway. So yeah, so there you go, now you have it. You have the whole scoop. Take care guys, bye-bye.